Hi, uh, this is a video series about uh, interfacing Arduino with LabVIEW. So instead of regular Arduino, for this video series, I'm going to use uh, Lotus uh, from Seed Studio. Uh, this is like uh, Arduino, but this one having uh, grooves here. You can see that there, there are a lot of grooves that is available with this uh, special type of Arduino. And uh, this allows us to interface uh, sensors uh, very easily it's just like a plug and play so if you are a, a new user and you are very novice to the electronics field so this will give a very good company to you so you don't need to worry about uh, different wires and where the wires goes you don't need to know where where you need to get a power supply where you to um, go get the ground other stuff so let's see a uh, graphical user interface to control this uh from lab view let's see about this so before uh, going for the real tutorial let's uh, give you a overview of what you need to install before that so for that uh, you need to install a lab view so and it should be a version after 2012 and also you need to install ni visa so make sure that you are installing visa this is the one responsible for connecting with the USB to the lab view and also you need to install VIPM uh, once uh, you install a VIPM uh, make sure that you go to the VIPM and install a toolkit called maker app links so this is a toolkit that will allow us to talk with lab view what else is so here you can see that and uh, it is about a presentation for lab view And instead of uh, this regular Arduino, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use a uh, Seed Studio Lotus Kit. And uh, this one is for uh, Seed Studio uh, Starter Kit for Arduino. So I'm going to open my lab view. Can see that I have connected my uh, Lotus kit to my laptop so here it is indicating that power uh, LED is indicating here so once you connect it to your uh, laptop or PC so all you have to do is to make sure that you are uploading a firmware to your Arduino or other kits so first thing you have to do, go to tools, uh, select make hub and upload the firmware. So here uh, I'm using Arduino Uno. So, so instead of Arduino Uno, we are using Lotus Kit. It, is, it has the exact same function as Arduino Uno and upload the firmware and select the COM port here it's connected to the COM port 6 next next so we have um, uploaded our firmware successfully to the, our Lotus kit I'm going to finish it here what I'm going to do now is turn on and off the LED from my Lotus kit. So here, here is my LED. You see here. So here's my LED, and I'm going to use a. So here. Is a LED holder so place it place the LED to that so 
So once you uh, place the LED to the LED holder, all you have to do is to connect it with the group pins to any of your digital pins here. So I'm gonna connect this to the D3 pin of Lurus Kit. So here you can see that I have connected it to D3 pin of Lotus Kit. So once I've connected it, move on to my lab view, go to file, new VI, and go to block diagram, right click, and go to structures, take a while loop, place it here. Go to make hub, tick mark it, initialize, and close. Go to peripherals, digital, right. So connect the pins like this. And the DO channel is 3, that is the digital output pin. And the button, I want to give a control button for this. I'm going to take a silver and the LED silver, place it here. Should be control, change it to control, make it to output value. So that's it. Uh, we have created our first program to turn on and off a LED that is connected to our Lotus. And I'm going to run the program. Select your COM port, run the program. Yeah, the program is running. All I have to do is to turn the LED on and off. So this is how simple it is to control uh, control anything from LabVIEW. Uh, that is, uh, we uh, connected our Lotus Kit to LabVIEW and controlled the first project that is to turn on and off a LED uh, Lotus Kit with our LabVIEW. Thanks for watching this video. Our Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.